guys, in this video I'll be doing a very bold makeup tutorial using some blues and also an orange, bold orange lip. And I'm also wearing some clip-in extensions, some blue ones. For more information about the hair, uh, be sure to check the information box. I have a link to the video down below. Also a link to an outfit of the day post. Then I'm wearing in the video my window pane sweater. That would be an information box as well. So if this seems like a look that interests you guys, stay tuned. I first took my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot all over my eyes. I'm now taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, which is getting really short. It's just a white base. This is going on my eyelid area just to brighten the colors that I'm going to apply on top. And be sure to get those outer and inner corners because those are the two most commonly missed places. For the center of my eyelid, I'm taking clear sky blue, which is a beautiful matte blue, matte light blue, sky blue from MAC. I'm taking an e.l.f. concealer brush to pack this. I'm now taking Marine Ultra Pigment from MAC. It's a dark royal blue. For this, I'm taking an e.l.f. contour brush. This is going on my outer V. I'm going to kind of start sweeping the two colors into each other to blend them out. As my buffer color, I'm taking a tangerine orange from my 120 palette 2nd edition from Blush Professional. I'm taking this orange right up there using a MAC 224 to apply it. I'm dusting off my e.l.f. contour brush that I used for Marine Ultra and I'm going to start buffing out that outer edge. For my inner tear duct area, I'm taking Blanc Type by MAC with a flat brush from T-Mart. This is going in my inner corner and tear duct area. For the lower lash line, I'm going back in with my 120 palette and taking this bright orange. This is going on my entire lower lash line. Stopping shop in a corner. Actually, it's only going in the center. I forgot. I'm using an e.l.f. smudge brush. The outside, I'm taking Marine Ultra. For the waterline, I'm taking MAC Chromographic Pencil in Genuine Orange. I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara at the top. For that, I'm using my Motives for Lala Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. For eyeliner, I am taking my Kaylin Cosmetics Line Fix Gel Eyeliner. I will use the brush that came in it, but it's dirty. So I don't want to put a dirty eyeliner brush on my eyes. I'm just taking this brush from T-Mart. It's just an angled liner brush. I'm also going to set my other side that um, I, glued a, I glued a lash on earlier. To cover that glue, I'll do that first. For lashes, I'm taking the number 41s from my local beauty supply store. Those look like that or like this. I'll return once I'm done, clean up around my eyes, and do the rest of my face. My eyes are complete. I'll now do my face for foundation. I don't know what I'm going to use, as always. Guess I'll use my MAC Mineralized Satin Finish SPF 15 Foundation in NC45. It's slightly dark, but will make it work. I'll apply it lightly with a Royal Care Cosmetics Pointed Foundation Brush. I forgot to mention that I did apply my Blanc Type eyeshadow as a brown highlight like I did in the inner corner of my eye. For concealer, I'm using my Bare Minerals Correcting Concealer SPF 20 in the shade Tan 2. This is my sample. I'm using a Bare Minerals Max Coverage Concealer Brush. I 
I did apply quite a bit of that and I kind of extended it onto my face as a highlighter. And I did use my foundation brush to blend it out to make it a little more seamless so it wasn't as dramatic. Had to turn my other light on. I don't know why I didn't have it turned on at first. Whoops! Now I don't look as ghastly or ghostly. I'll go ahead and apply my mascara at the bottom now. For blush, I'm going to use, this is the Nika K Sunkissed Multicolor Blush. And Sunkissed is the color. This is what it looks like. I'll be applying that with a Color for Online blush brush. I really did not expect that blush to be that bright. Oh my goodness. Craziness. As my face highlight, I'm taking my MAC Miller Less Skin Finish Natural and Medium Plus with a different brush. This is the Bare Minerals Angled Face Brush. For like a lip primer, I took my Burt's Bees Sun Protecting Lip Balm. So that's what I am going to also shoot an outfit of the day. If you would like to check that out, just check the information box. It will be at the top. For my lips, I'm taking an orange tinted color. For my lips, I'm taking my favorite orange lipstick, well one of them. My favorite orange lipstick melted. It was from it was from Stargazer Cosmetics. I think it was number five, but it, I left it in my car and it melted. Bad idea. That was my favorite orange. I'll have to buy another one, so won't be using that one today. I'll be using Mac Electro instead. This is my second favorite. And to apply that, I'm using this lip brush from T Mart. Scrape some out with my scalpel. That's it for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will zoom you in and show you the final look. My eyes. My cheeks. And my lips. I'll have pictures of the final look on my blog along with a list of everything I used. Check the information box in case there's a giveaway down there. And also for an outfit of the day, check the information box as well. And that's it. I'll talk to all of you guys soon. Thanks for watching.